good YouTube? It's your girl Kid and I'm back with another video. As we know, next gen NBA 2K21 is finally here. It's finally here. The community is going crazy. And I'm not going to lie to you. I have been seeing some insane stuff so far. So that's what this video is pretty much all about. It's going to be a little breakdown of what next gen NBA 2K21 has to offer. Now the service for Xbox went up like at 3 o'clock in the morning. So different YouTubers and streamers, you know have been putting out early content and things like that. So it's just going to be an overall breakdown of what I've seen so far. All right, so let's get right into this video. All right, so as we all know, Ticino is the mayor of the beast of the East City. Shout out to 2K for doing this, you know what I'm saying? Incorporating some of the big content creators and letting them have an active part in the game and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And you can change up and vote, you know, for mayors every six weeks. So... That's, that's pretty cool. That's a W for that. That's a W for that. Alright, now I warned y'all in the beginning that things get kind of insane. Well, this is complete madness right here. Like, a bounce lob pass? Are you kidding me, 2K? When was the last time any of y'all have seen a bounce lob pass? Look how hot this man jumped. Get out of here, 2K. You gotta be kidding me with this stuff, man. We are look at this. Slashers are already gonna be OP. Like, come on. When 2K said leave what you know behind, they meant it literally, okay? Cause what is this? What type of build is this? The demigods are back, bro. If you don't put defense in your build this year, I swear you are going to get cooked. Look at this. Look at this. What am I looking at? You already got this man Duke Dennis shooting over those. Oh my. First day out. First day out. You gotta be kidding me. And then look at this man, Ticino, greening from deep with no badges. This man don't have not one shooting badge yet. 2K, we got to do better, man. We got to do better. All right, so let's look at this rookie view, okay? So rookie view, that's for all the my part players and my career players and things like that. So... Um, that's where you start off at. You know, you got to play in Rookieville till you make it to Pro 1. And Rookieville got three 3v3 courts and two one-on-one courts. And the thing about Rookieville, I honestly believe you out there, like, with randoms. Like, you know, you better hope and luck up that you and your friends can load into the same server because there is no squad spot in Rookieville. Like, it's just got next spot so you really out there fighting in the trenches trying to make your way to the city you trying to get out the hood and go to the city like <laughs> yo all the rookies are going to be in this one part rookies gonna have their own part which is a good thing i say that's a good thing you know what i'm saying like if you just learning the game you knew the 2k or something like that you know you have your own park your own playing field with people you know what i'm saying that's just starting out same as you i think that's a good thing that's a w right there that's a w right there but you have to start out in rookieville you got to get to pro one to make it to the city and then once you know what i'm saying you unlock those gates to the city that's when you can pick your affiliation that that's that's pretty cool that's pretty dope that's pretty dope that's gonna be interesting to see how and oh and it does count on your record. So that's going to be pretty interesting. If you really got to be out there playing with randoms. Sheesh. Oh, my gosh. That, that's going to be something serious right there. I'm not even going to lie to you. I can't even lie. All right. So once you finally do make it to the city, that's a look at the map right there. It <laughs> reminds me of a GTA map. This thing is huge. The city is huge. All right. It's a big open world. But once you do get in there, it's a whole bunch of different things you could do. 2K added a whole bunch of different stuff. Like for right here, you see this guy. 
He got that little icon above his head. Like, 2K added these things like little quests and challenges and stuff. So, if you run across somebody walking around the city like that, if you interact with them, then it's going to give you a little challenge. You get different little rewards and stuff like that. Another good thing that 2K added, because this is such a huge world and a huge city, everybody gets a free skateboard once they make it to the city. So, that's a W for 2K. Like, we know the VC prices are ridiculous and 2K is very money hungry. But they did. They, they, they gave us a solid with this one gave us a free skateboard because you know those vc prices are outrageous it is ridiculous you're gonna need something but i guarantee you if you don't reference that map you're gonna get lost another thing that 2k added i really feel like they got rid of my courts and around the city or the world it is so many just different random courts that you can just walk up to and just hoop you could just play on any little random court get your little shoot around in and stuff like that As long as, you know what I'm saying, you got your own personal basketball. Now, I just said 2K and they VC price. It costs 25K just for you to have a basketball. Like, that's ridiculous. In a virtual basketball game, it costs 25000 for a basketball. And also, another cool thing that they did, while you're waiting on for games and stuff, you could just shoot around and practice with your teammates. So, that's a cool thing as well. You know, 2K, they kind of listened to us this year. Everything looks new. Everything... It's fresh, and I'm very, very excited. I know a lot of other people are as well. Now, my thing is with this game, what we do here is go back, 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 back. I just don't want it to die out. Like, it's such a huge, huge world or city or whatever you want to call it. And 2K has been having issues in the past with, you know what I'm saying, filling up servers so hopefully we get a full server i know the word on the street is that it's supposed to be like 320 people per world like it can be 320 people so bro i really hope every city every server every world is packed it needs to be packed it has to stay packed and i really hope y'all got some good internet because god dog 320 people <laughs> with all this other stuff going on man we gonna be lagging like crazy if y'all ain't got no good internet but i that's my only thing like that's the only way i honestly can see this game going bad like i get it you know what i'm saying you can do anything with your build now pretty much well no, i'm not even gonna say anything because i'm not even gonna say that i'm not even gonna say that because you really gotta pay attention to it when you know once you really get in there you play around with my player build it yourself you're going to see that it's it's really balanced you guys like i was paying attention to different streams and stuff i probably make another video talk about that but they 2k they they were pretty smart with what they did it's like the my player builder is very very detailed and it's very very in depth like it's something like we really haven't really seen before it's they they paid attention this time so i mean we just gotta wait and see we just gotta wait and see xbox got you know first deals first look looks at it or whatever i can't wait for it to come out on ps5 and i hope everybody can get their hands on a on on the next gen console man so we can go crazy so we can go crazy i still don't know what city i'm joining what affiliation i'm going to it's hard it's hard to decide i really don't know but that is pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to hit that notifications bell i'm out